Hello, this is Yogeshwar and this video will discuss about a very important topic in Vedic Astrology which is about Hora. Now Hora actually means an hour <clears throat> and uh, and the word hour probably has come from this word Hora, Hora, hour. So anyways, this Hora discussion is not to be confused with the divisional charts or Varga charts which we have discussed about a divisional chart which is the D2 chart which is also known as Hora which means that the D2 chart is divided into 15 degrees of um, the out of the 30 degrees of the entire zodiac sign so please do not confuse this Hora discussion with the Hora which we have discussed in the divisional chart because the D2 chart is also called the Hora. So this Hora is pretty much a discussion on the influence of the planets during the 24 hour cycle of the day and their influence in those hours. So this is how it goes that the planets basically are ruling the weekdays as we know the sun the day Sunday is ruled by the planet Sun the day Monday is ruled by the planet moon the day Tuesday is ruled by the planet Mars the day Wednesday is ruled by the planet Mercury the day Thursday is ruled by the planet Jupiter the day Friday is ruled by the planet Venus and the day Saturday is ruled by the planet Saturn <clears throat> we are pretty much clear on this um, now within that day there are 24 hours and those hours are also ruled by not the planet which rules the entire day but those sub periods which are converted into hours are ruled by the other seven planets and we are not talking about Rahu and Ketu in this discussion because as per Vedic astrology and Hora Rahu and Ketu are not taken into consideration taken into consideration so as I said that although the planets rule the entire day based on the days allocated to them there is a sub period of one hour each which is allocated to different planets it's like you know when we see the vimshotri dasha there is a main dasha and then there is a sub dasha and there is a sub sub dasha so not necessarily the main dasha ruler will be ruling the entire period under sub dasha and the entire period under the sub sub dashas so all planets get an opportunity to come and influence their power or their area of influence within that dasha so similar concept is the hora that within the day the seven planets will come as a sequence and they will pre present their influence during that hour out of the 24 hours allocated to them now the other thing which is very important in this is that the sequence of the hours allocated to the planets remain same so as you see in the screen the sequence will be Sun and then Venus and then Mercury and then moon and then Saturn and then Jupiter and then Mars so these are seven hours and then again Sun takes over and follows the same sequence Sun Venus Mercury Moon Saturn Jupiter and Mars so we have to remember this very major rule for a Hora calculation that the sequence never changes rule number two rule number two is that the Hora always starts with the planet which rules the entire day say for example 
if you see Sunday, the first hora will start with sun. If you see Monday, the first hora will start with moon. If you see Tuesday, the, four, the, the first hora will start from Mars. And similarly for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So this is an important rule that the first hora or the first hour influence starts with the planet which rules the entire day like Sunday rules the entire Sunday so the first hour will start with or the first hora will start with the influence of Sun and this hora is nothing that nothing but like I had mentioned the planets influence themselves during that hour allocated to them so it's one hour of Sun and then one hour of Venus then one hour of Mercury they will have their influence during the day so on and so forth so rule number one as we said that the sequence never changes for any planet any day it has to be Sun followed by Venus followed by Mercury followed by Moon followed by Saturn followed by Jupiter followed by Mars and the second rule is that the first Hora will start from the planet which rules that particular day as we've seen the first Torah for Sunday will be Sun the first Torah of Monday will be moon so on and so forth so these are the two rules the third rule of course we know that every planet gets one hour and then after these seven planets have completed their hours of influence it follows in the same sequence and how to calculate Hora is that what we do is that Hora or the influence changes based on where the individual is based out of so a hora of a person who say for example is in New Delhi would be different from the hora of a person who would be say for example London or with a hora of a person who is sitting or is based out of Los Angeles why because the hora begins with the sunrise time so the sunrise time in New Delhi may be different than the sunrise time in London than the sunrise time in Los Angeles so the hora influence changes based on that because the basic concept of Hora is that it starts from the sunrise only so how do we calculate as, as an example a Hora it's pretty simple it's very simple I know there are software calculators out there and some people just go and punch and then get the results but you don't need to do that because you first have to understand what a Hora is which I've just explained to you you need to understand that the sequence is same you need to understand that the first Hora will be ruled by the planet which rules the entire day which I've just explained to you and you need to know that the Hora is calculated based out of what time is the sunrise which I have just explained to you so say for example the sunrise in New Delhi on a Sunday is 6.30 in the morning so what you'll do is you it's very simple follow the sequence for f the first hour between 6 30 a.m. to 7 30 a.m. the influence will be Sun look at the chart and the second hour between 7 30 a.m. to 8 30 a.m. will be under the influence of Venus so on and so forth and after Mars again follow it with Sun Venus Mercury Moon Saturn until it completes its 24 hours cycle in case it's a Monday you figure out what you just have to figure out first what is the sunrise time in New Delhi in case you're considering it for a person who's based out of New Delhi what would be the Hora for him and on Monday 
the first hora will be moon and in case the sunrise is at 645 then the first hora will be of moon between the time of 645 until 745 it will be the hora of saturn between the time of 745 until 845 so on and so forth until mercury is reached and then after mercury again moon takes over and follows the same sequence until it reaches the 24 hours so it's fairly simple you may want to understand this and then if you want to plug it into a computer and put in the sunrise and the days you will get it out of any software available on the internet but i just wanted to explain to you what the concept is and how a hora is created now what is the purpose of a hora that is also extremely important you undertake important tasks during the day so what you can do is you can look at a hora and you can pretty much figure out as to what would be an auspicious time to undertake that particular task for example if you're in the hora of venus of course things related to beauty arts so on and so forth if you are in the hora of moon then you can undertake tasks related to home home comforts so on and so forth you know you may want to buy stuff for your home for your domestic happiness so on and so forth because moon rules that or even something related to emotions like going to uh, a place where you can listen to some good poetry or you can create poetry if you're a poet you look for a whore of moon and create poetry if you have to undertake some very important tasks related to related to construction then of course you will look at a whore of mars because mars is the planet of building things if you have to undertake a task related to education you will try to do it within the hora of jupiter because jupiter is all about education and wisdom and knowledge so this is the kind of an idea you can get as to what would be an auspicious time related to what the hora is based on the nature of the planets now i've talked about nature of the planets the second thing you can do is you can look at your chart and see what planets are auspiciously placed in your chart what are your good planets and what are your bad and inauspicious planets and based on that you undertake tasks say for example you're undertaking a task in the hora of mercury and mercury is not auspiciously placed in your chart then avoid it do it in a time where the hora lord is auspiciously placed in your birth chart so that's that's another way of looking at it one is based on the characteristic of that planet and second based on whether that planet is auspiciously placed in your chart or not so hora is extremely important uh, if you want to look at the influence of a planet in a in a in a very short easy concise form and if you don't want to go into the detailed analysis of your birth chart you know what planets are good for you just understand what planets are influencing you at that particular hour and then based on that you can make a decision whether you want to go ahead with that particular task or not so hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, i recommend check out my link to my website which is given below subscribe to my channel and we will meet in another video thank you